very idea of how some of the questions, the design statement questions were framed, frankly, that seemed to be this traditional separation of arts and culture institutions from the public. Um, and we really started with the preposition that we are the public, or the proposition that we are the public. And if we are the public, what is our roles and responsibilities as a member of the public? Um, so we weren't separate from the public, we are the public, and therefore, what is the role of our institution? So we took that to an institutional level and started talking about the idea of responsibility around citizenship. If we are citizens of the community, not separated from the community, what is our role as citizens? It did open a slippery slope to this idea of corporate citizenship, and so we're, we are aware of that, but we were trying to think about organizational leadership really forwarding the ethos and the practice of active and positive citizenship in the communities in which you claim, yeah? Um, and so then we started to think about what kind of experimentation could we do to really explore this idea of what it would mean for institutions to be active and positive citizens in the communities in which you claim to be a part of, yeah? So ultimately that led to a call to action. Uh, it led to a hypothesis which were that communities, agent institutions, and art, and maybe something else would ultimately, and what, and what was it? And the sector. And the sector, as a, the field as a whole, would be healthier if we were aware of and moved our organizations towards our roles and responsibilities as active and positive citizens, yeah? Mm -hmm. And so then it led to a call to action that I believe all 14 organizations have signed on to, um, and we invite others to participate, to actually do an 18-month series of experimentation with an initial call in January um, that will then actually look at varying different ways in which our institutions, based on that hypothesis, are playing it out in terms of different strategies that look very different depending on the institutions we are. And then and, and making all of that public, so being transparent in the process of making it public at varying points throughout, which includes monthly blogs utilizing the power of the HowlRound platform so that we can make the processes as public as possible and then see what kind of learning can thing and also invite other organizations and institutions to be a part of it. But it goes back to, ultimately it goes back to removing the divide between institutions and the public and trying to state firmly that we are the public. 